Hello, my name is Eddie Toffley. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts today. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Looking at this chart, we can see a second bearish black crow, a more than suitable follow-on lower to the previous session's bearish harami. The market opened under the key June 2018 high at 118.51 and then dropped down through the following. The broken but still influential lower bullish fat channel, currently at 118.33. The short moving average, currently 118.41. And lastly, the true May 2020 to date uptrend, currently 118.21. It closed below all those bar the true uptrend and indeed only found support at the top of the broken but still influential 2011 to date downtrend, currently at 117.84. As I said and wrote yesterday, we had noticed that the fat bull channel may be morphing into a topping action, and that topping action may at least be a small head and shoulders top with a neckline currently at 117.51. So for today, a superb follow-on lower, down through the true uptrend, broken downtrend, and now testing the neckline, currently 117.50 today, of a nascent small head and shoulders top, though we have since pulled up. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A third bullish white sold USA, which saw the market move up and close over the short stroke medium moving average, currently 129 and a half. As I mentioned yesterday, this moving average hasn't been much use to anyone recently. However, the bullish action nevertheless still holds true for the possible nascent bearish bump and run reversal top, which I previously mentioned with the trend line based on July to date uptrend, currently at 127.93. Just as long as it isn't too intense to move higher. If we stay below the by now somewhat famous gently rising old broken upper bull channel from April to May, currently at 130.91, then that'll be fine. If not, then we may have a diamond pattern. Finally, with two weeks of September still to go, it is highly interesting that we are already on for a monthly key reversal. Currently down. If we close on the 30th of September below 130.85, then we'd be on. So far today, a reluctance to try higher. Hanging around the short stroke medium moving average seems the order right now. The next chart to look at is Euro Sterling. A third bearish black crow yesterday, and one that was a straight drop down from the recent lesser Fibonacci level at 91.83 to the 50% Fibonacci line of the same move at 90.85. Below this, and we start running into congestion from the June to August action, with the key area being around the short stroke medium moving average, currently 90.33. Finally, again, with still two weeks to go, we have the opportunity to make a monthly key reversal here, closing above 90 even or below 89.20, and we'd be on. So far today, a test of the 50% Fibonacci line at 90.85, but a quick pullback up. And the next chart I look at, the fourth chart, is the US dollar against the Indian rupee, a higher but indecisive spinning top yesterday. Despite the higher action, it was still a down day, below Fibonacci congestion based around the 50% Fibonacci line at 73.68. Further overhead, we have the gently rising long moving average, currently at 74.05. Meanwhile, below, we still have the next big significant support, the big 50% Fibonacci line, the July 2019 to April 2020 move at 72.64, though it is a bit away. So far today, yet another test of the Fibonacci congestion around 73.68, this time seriously as we opened over it, though have since backed down. The last chart I'd like to look at is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. A lower market once again. This time it was a bearish engulfing pattern with the lowest close since July. I said and wrote yesterday that the previous session's action was a watershed moment, and it looks like that is being currently justified. We do not turn around back up soon, and by that I mean two significant consecutive closes over the strong looking late August to date up downtrend, currently at 524.94, then we'll likely find below the market bar lesser Fibonacci levels until we have some. July congestion around the lesser of an over at 5 to 1087 and the July low at 508.20. That about wraps it up. So in the meantime, good trading and stay safe in the markets and in real life.